What's up, guys? Dustin you here, back with the Florida Panthers GM mode, and uh, so we definitely buggered ourselves up. We, we did go 5-2 and two in the preseason, but uh, we are going to kind of remake our second line, plus add a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so um, I've kind of gone through already and made some trades. Uh, somebody said I should go for JVR and uh, Kadri. I tried looking at that, and there was no possible way. JVR's uh, value is just way too high. Um, and the thing is, a lot of people won't touch Sharp because of his contract. Um, so yeah, he's he's kind of a crappy situation to have on our hands. I didn't think it would be that bad, but yeah, his value is terrible. So, <laughs> Alright, so first off, we're going to go with Shifley. We're going to get Shifley here um, for Sharp. Um, now that doesn't go through by itself, so uh, we're going to add a first in there. And So uh, Patrick Sharp for Shifley. And a first, boom, execute, there we go, okay. Uh, second trade is going to be to Tampa Bay. We need a winger. So we're going to get, um, where is he? There we go. We're going to go with uh, Connolly. So Brett Connolly is a right wing sniper. He's a second liner. He's four green stars. He's got some pretty good shooting stats and puck skills. Uh, and his defense isn't too bad either, so... We're going to pick up him, plus uh, I wanted to get a bottom six D-man, so we need another sixth. Uh, so I'm going with this guy. Uh, his name is Andre Schuster. He is a three and a half stars, um, but he like he's a defensive defender, and his defensive stats are pretty good. Like He's got an 86 awareness, 84 blocking, 87 uh, checking, and his physical is not too bad either. Uh, skating's, you know, it's okay. He's not like a great player, but... You know, defensively, he's going to probably get it done for us. So, uh, we're going to go with him. And then, for him, I did uh, Callahan. And believe me, this is weird because it doesn't work. I'll, I'll even try it once just to show you guys. Callahan plus Barker. Uh, where's Barker? Callahan plus Barker. You would think this goes through. Like, look at this. Um, like, right here, that's, like, way more. And this is, like, just about the same. But the, the thing is, um, does it even, yeah, your rep with Tampa Bay can't get much worse. So I think that kind of screws you up for making trades. So you watch, I'll try it, and I'll say no. So literally all I needed to do was add, I added next year's first, and that went through. Believe me, it's not, it's not uh, unrealistic. People trade next year first all the time. And we're like, I don't know, it's not too bad. So, uh, And then the last one, I'm going to go to Ottawa. And for our left winger, we're going to get um, Milan Mikalik. So Milan Mikalik is a second line. He's an 85 sniper. He's pretty decent. He's not bad. He's got some, you know, he's got average shooting stats. I mean, he's an 85. I can't expect for a whole lot. His defense is still decent, which is good. He's got good poise. Offense awareness is pretty decent. Skating is good. So, yeah. Him. And then I wanted also to get a a third line sniper because I have uh, JC Lippin and I want to keep him on the third line. We're going to try and do a scoring third line just to see what happens. I've always been like a defensive bottom six type player, but uh, so I'm going to get Pumple. And the reason I'm getting Pumple is because yes, he's a four star. He's 25. Um, but look at his shooting stats. Slap shot is 87. Uh, power is 92. Wrist shot is 90 accuracy and 93 sh uh, power. Uh, his puck skills are, you know, like mid 80s, except for his deking's not that great. His defense is okay. But, uh, yeah, his, his shooting is crazy. So we're going to try him out there. Um, we're going to keep some guys just in case that doesn't work out. We'll see how he does defensively. And for him, we were going to... I've, I've been pretty happy with our two goalies, Bernier and Dansk. So I'm going to trade Vienna. Um, we're not going to try and get a goalie. We've done just fine with 284s, um, just rotating them. So we're just going to go again with whoever's hot. Um, it seems to be, you know, working just fine. And then we're going to trade Howden. Now, I don't know. There's not really a big reason behind this. Uh, he's supposed to be a center, but his his faceoffs aren't that great. He's a good defensive player, and his slap shot's pretty decent, you know. And he, he's definitely done well for us. Um, he had 18 points last year, which is pretty solid. Like he's a, he's a great player, no doubt about it. He's just kind of the odd man out because I want to do a um, my 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 third line. I want is Shore, uh, Pumple, and Lippin. I'm gonna go for a kind of a scorey scorey third line and then uh matthias is gonna go on the fourth line so um 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just I'm keep I, I'm getting rid of him just because of his face offs. His face offs aren't good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason though, honestly. So there it is, Vianu and Howden for Metallic and Pumple. Now we can do a roster moves. Um, so right now the plan is to like our lines are pretty sick. I'm gonna send down McLaren and send down Harrington. All right, there we go. We're gonna go into the lines here. I didn't do the AHL lines yet, so. Um, I'm going to do that really fast. But we got Barchi, Huberto, Tarasenko. That's a sick first line. Second line, McCulloch, Shifley, Connolly. Uh, third line, Pumple, Shore, Lippin, and then uh, Reinhardt, Matthias, and Bjugstad. So our fourth line is still solid. Uh, Ryan, I wanted to send down McLaren because Reinhardt is just a stud on defense. Like He's just phenomenal. It's awesome. It's sexy. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking Shore, Lippin, and Pumple should be a, a good uh, third line. I don't know. I've never gone with a, a scorey line. So, but yeah, like we have so much offense now, it's ridiculous. And then defensively, Ekman Larson, uh, Larson, Kulikov, Riley, Lindholm, and Schuster. Not bad. Um, we'll do this really fast. Connolly can go over here. Shifley, Kulikov, Larson. Yeah, we'll do that. Foreman, Huberto, Barchi. We'll put him in that. And Shifley, Barchi, Ekman Larson, Riley. Yeah. Penalty kill. I think I'm just gonna leave it best lines for P for PK just to start. Um, four and four lines, however, I might change. Uh, Huberto, Tarasenko. I want to keep them together. Shifley, Barchi, and then Matthias and Connolly. In, no, I'm gonna put. Uh, who am I missing? I'm missing someone. Huberto, Tarasenko, Barchi, Shifley. Uh, oh, we're missing McCulloch, but I don't think he's a very good uh, centerman. <laughs> I don't think he's a very good centerman at all. 60, no. Uh, okay, maybe we'll... Yeah, you know what? Whatever. We'll keep Matthias in there. That's fine. Uh, Huberto, Ekman Larson. I'll uh, put Tarasenko in there. And then goalies. We're going to go Danska Bernier. Shootout. Um, why is Tarasenko not in here? No, I'm going to put Huberto down there. Riley. Riley's a good shooter for sure, but we're going to put... Tarasenko, Barchi, and Connolly as our shootout, and then Huberto and Ekman Larson. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll quickly do our San Antonio lines here fast. Um, <laughs> none of our none of our guys are even in there. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, we gotta switch this around here. Yeah, like Barkov and Reinhardt are both not in the lineup right now. That's stupid. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, so let's switch out. You know what? I'm gonna keep. Uh, McFarland can go down a line. Trocek can go over here. Uh, Kosmichuk can go over here. And then we'll swap out Shaw. For Shaw, we'll put in Barkov. And for Tanabe, we'll put in Reinhardt. Okay, and then what else do we have? We I think we have a bunch of guys who are sitting still. Cassian's a three and a half. That's fine. Lodge, I want to get in. Um, who's Hanson? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know who's in our like HL here. Uh, so I definitely want to get Morsi or Vladikov in the lineup. Although they're not getting better. I don't know what the deal is with this progression. I you you would think that playing Morsi on the first line in the HL would help. He's literally not budged at all. I don't know what is with the progression. I mean, he's still a four-star. Yeah, he's not going to reach his ceiling because he's a red star, but he should still get better, which he's not. So I think they really screwed up the progression, honestly, because a lot of players don't get better. Like, I started off um, Barkov as a four-green star. That's what I added him to. And after one year, he turned to a four-red star, which made no sense, absolutely zero sense. Um, okay, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, so, like, some of the – I don't even know. I definitely like the game. It's just some of the stuff is just kind of sketchy. You're like, why is he not getting better? That makes no sense. You know? Uh, what is Hazen? Hazen. Why is he even in the lineup? He's a 68. Yeah, no, I don't want him in there. Uh, don't I have another four-star player? Oh, let's put Cassian in there. Okay. Or did I already put Cassian in? No, we're good. Okay. And then defensively, Harrington... Uh, Gilroy can go down. Put do 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 do. Just gonna try and do this as fast as I can. 
Morrissey, uh, Steel, and Finn. Actually, Finn's not bad. What's Caruso? Caruso, yeah, Caruso can sit. Put in Vladkov for Caruso. Vladkov for Caruso. There we go. Alright, so we'll do that, and then we'll put Gilroy here, Finn. Yeah, Finn can stay there, that's fine. Whatever. It's good enough for me. Uh, I'm not going to worry about these lines, I don't think. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just put Barkov here or something. Barkov, yeah, sure. And on offense, I think I'm going to put Barkov on the second line. Uh, Goalie-wise, Gibson and Grumman Morris. Why is he even in? Bureau, I want Bureau in here. <laughs> I want Gibson in, though, because he's four and a half star. Our goalie, our goaltending has been absolutely crazy, so... Uh, okay, now I just have to go through and sit all these. Are you want to scratch? Yes, yes. Just gotta go through and scratch all the, all the guys. That guy, scratch, Shaw, scratch. I wish I would make best lines with your current dressed players. That'd be so sweet. All right, that looks fine. Whatever. They'll they'll all get playing time. That's good. Okay, should be good to go. Okay, so sorry we're ten minutes in, but we're gonna just start simming. I feel like our team is gonna be. A studly team right now. Definitely fixed our situation. I mean, I shouldn't have traded Sharp because I feel like you should live with your mistakes, but whatever. We're just, at this point, we're, I'm, just, I'm just trying to win. You know, I'm just having fun. So, um, Like I said, when we start again, it, it'll be with the new roster updates. It'll be, like, all perfect. So uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted uh, jersey numbers. Jersey. I want to see who the captain is. Uh, why is Riley the captain? <laughs> That's not right. Okay, Huberto, Ekman, Larson, and Kulikov. Uh, Kulikov was always... Um, maybe I'll put Barchi. Barchi was... Yeah, let's play... Uh, Huberto, Ekman, Larson, and Kulikov. Maybe I'll let you guys vote on that, or just say who you guys think should be captain. Obviously, I want Huberto to be captain. That's a that's a no-brainer. But should I put Bar Barchi or Ekman, Larson? Uh, Kulikov I want to keep because he's been here for a long time. But other than that, yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, we're good to go. I'm going to start with Dansk in it. Uh, we got rid of Vianu, obviously. So I think those are some good uh, trades. We definitely bolstered our team. We got some sick offense. Um, I really think that we should score a lot. <laughs> that is my hope. All right, so let's just sim away here. So I'll do two and two again to start, and then we'll see who does better. Do 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 do. Have some coffee. Continue. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, whoops. Decline. I totally left Bernie on the trade block, didn't I? <laughs> whoops. Loophole for Bernie. Ah, right, well, if I would have been offered that before, that wouldn't have been bad. But me, I don't know. I'm just. I really like Dansk and Bernie in it. They're they obviously we're winning with them, and they haven't really gotten better or worse. So. I think that's acceptable. It's an acceptable excuse. Okay, what is going on right now? Don't you freeze game. Sedine for Bernier. Decline. Okay, we're going to have to stop. Because we just keep getting trade offers here. <laughs> Alright, big first win. There we go. Yeah, we're. I think after Boston, we're going to have to stop. I think I'm just getting trade offers. <laughs> slowing down the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I need to slow this down here. Let's stop the sim. Decline. Okay, we're stopping this. No, I want to stop the sim. I want to stop the sim. I want to stop. 6 1. Nice. Yeah, see, look at McCallick. Two goals. Connolly with three assists. Stop the sim. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why won't you stop? I've been I've been hitting stop sim for like a while now. Stop it! Stop it! There we go. Okay, we stopped the sim. Thank God. <laughs> I was like literally mashing my button and it just was not happening. Trade block. Let's take off uh, Bernie because that's really screwing us up here. All right, there we go. Uh, yes. There we go. Now we can play without being worried about it. I th I hope. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, ladies. It's time to go. All right, New York Islanders. Here we go. There we 
go. Big win. Our second line seems to be doing well. Calic and Connolly are uh, are getting getting some passes to each other. Looks like New York Rangers. Come on, come on, Panthers. Nice. Do another win. Star status. Cool. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, scouting assignment. All right, we'll do that fast. Uh, forwards in the dub. I think I already did that, but we'll do it again. Whoop. Yeah, whatever. Dub, like, I don't know. They need to, I think they need to make, like, the, the other places in the, in the scouting, like, better, you know? I don't know. Oh, no, we lost. No! <laughs> lost in overtime. Son of a gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, bounce back, guys. There we go. Nice. Yeah, because, I don't know, mo majority of the players are always from Canada. I mean, I'm not saying that that's not the normal case in real life, because a lot of players get drafted from Canada, but I don't know. Being Canadian and seeing that, it's just kind of like, eh, maybe you guys should make, like, some other players. Like, there's there's been a lot of great players coming out of, like, Sweden and Finland and Russia. Like, you can't deny that for sure. Like, there's no doubt about it. It's happening. <laughs> it's definitely happening. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of Canadian players, but to the fact that there's like literally no, like very rarely, you know, you see a good player come out of those countries in uh, GM mode is just ridiculous, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like even the US, like the US has great players too. Like, I, I don't know, the NCAA system is awesome. Not that I, I, I don't really follow it, but I don't know, like, oh no, we lost again. All right, dance gear out. Sorry, bud. But yeah, like, I don't know. Some countries just, I, I think they get kind of gypped on this game. Because, yeah, there's definitely more uh, more prospects and stuff than they make it out to be. Okay, has anyone gone down yet? Mm, nope, that's good. Okay, no one's gone down yet. Excellent. All right, Bernier is in it. Let's go, Bernie. Let's do this. Oh, wow, Bernie, you lost the first game. <laughs> you lost your first game, bud. Yikes. Yowzes. All right. Come on, bounce back, Bernie. Let's do this. Come on, bud. There we go. 4-2 win. Nice. All right. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to December. Last time I did uh, more simming. I went to like the All Star game, but I, that's because I sa I simmed for the sammed I sammed for the whole time. No, I, I simulated the like half the season basically because I did it right from the start. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to December because we're almost we're at 18 minutes right now. So I don't want to make it too long. I'll just have an extra video in there. Not a big deal. I'm not trying to rush. So 10-3 over Toronto. Nice. Excellent. It doesn't beat that 12 nothing game, though, against Montreal. <laughs> 12 nothing. That was ridiculous. That was a crazy game. 6-3. Wow, Toronto really got screwed. <laughs> what happened, Toronto? What happened, guys? Ay -ay -ay. Keep it up, Panthers. Let's keep going here. Watch. I say that now, we're going to lose. Watch. It's going to happen. Told you. <laughs> as soon as I say it, we lose. All right, Dansk is going back in. Ah, Bernie got like four wins and two losses. That's not bad. That's reasonable. Metallic has 15 assists already. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, that happened. Um, sure. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Dansk is back in net, taking on St. Louis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Let, uh, let, let's go. Oh wow, four three. Come on, Dansk. What's your deal? Chicago, bounce back, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow, I think we're going to lose again. 8-1! What? That, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Have you looked at our team game? Do you know what you're doing right now? Dallas is 16-4. Wow. Impressive. I don't think the game looked at uh, our record, because it really screwed us on that one. <laughs> Wow, what is going on? Well, we definitely were doing well. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying we're doing, we're not doing well still, but that's a lot of losses in a row. That's kind of crazy. Wow, Ekblad's leading Tampa Bay with seven Gs. Yowzas. There we go. There's a win. 
There we go. Finally. Alright. Come on. Oh my god. We better not lose. Oh. I got scared there. Uh, we're at December 1st, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is December 1st right now. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So December 1st, 14, 6, and 1. Connelly and McCallick seem to be doing magic on that second line. I don't know. They're making, making magical babies. Or something. Uh, save percentage and goals against Oscar Dansk is leading the league with .943 save percentage and a 1.72 goals against. Can you dig it? Um, points and wins. We don't... Oh, we have McCallick with 24, actually. That's not bad. Uh, McCallick's leading our team with points. Hmm. Uh, wins. Byzantine has 15. Gauzes. Markstrom has 9. We don't have anybody up there. Oh, I guess Dan Dansk has 8, so he's tied for 8th. Uh, goals and assists. Uh, McCallick has 17 assists. Uh, team standings were first in the East. Wow, look at Phoenix and Dallas. 38 points. We're at 29. Oh my god, they're having ridiculous seasons. Ugh. Yikes. Okay, let's look. Yeah, let's, I want to see what they're at. Oh my god, Phoenix is 19 3 and 0. Dallas is 19 4 and 0. Oh my god. Well, Phoenix is mostly defense, though, so I don't understand that. They Like, I went to look at their trading, like, and their, their whole team is just, like, most of their good players are defense. Dallas has, well, they have Connor McDavid and, like, Sagan and Jamie Benn, so that makes sense. They're, they have a ridiculous team, but, I mean, we're third in the NHL, so I can't really complain too much. 14-6-1 is a pretty solid record. Uh, goals four were over three. Wow, look at <laughs> What? 3.73 for Phoenix, wow. Uh, goals against were 2.33. I think that I think that'll go down a little bit. Yeah, like we we're just starting. So power play goals twenty two point two percent. PK wise eighty one point four. I'd like to see a bit better out of our PK, but whatever. Uh, Nine two and one at home. Five and four on the road. Yeah, like we're having we're having uh, troubles on the road there. Let's look at our team stats. I kind of want to see what Phoenix is doing. I'm gonna just peek at that and Dallas. I just want to see what they're doing stat wise because it seems like they're uh, winning a lot of games. A lot, a lot of games. They are uh, winning a lot of games, and I'm kind of curious why. Uh, so 21 games. McCallick has 24. Huberto has 17. Connolly has 16. Shifley has 15. Barchi has 13. Wow, what are Shifley or what are Barchi and Tarasenko doing? Wow, what are you guys doing? 13 points. Wowzers. That's wow. That's incredible. Ekman Larson has 13 as well. Kulikov has 11. J.C. Lippin has 9. Shore has nine. Riley's eight. Pumple has five. Wow. Um, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> what is this? Our whole th fourth line. Matthias, Bjugstad, Lindholm, and Schuster. And Reinhardt's a plus. But, yeah, our whole fourth line is like... Brr. Goalie-wise, Bernie not doing so great. Dansk doing better. Yeah, if we just had Dansk in net, he'd probably be doing way better. But... Are they how many games? Oh, they're pretty much even right now. That's strange. Okay, so let's look at Dallas fast. I want to see what Dallas is doing. Sagan, McDavid, are, both have 26 points. Oh, look at that Bieber Bob. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Saborin has 23 points. Uh, Ted B is 19. That's pretty average. It just looks like these guys are just... Justin Bieber is just leading the league right now. So that's pretty much what's going on. Um, <laughs> who else was I going to look at? Uh, Dallas and Phoenix. That's what I'm doing. I'm just pushing buttons right now. Uh, okay, so Phoenix, Hansel has 29 points. Uh, but yeah, look at the, like, most of their good players are defense. So they have Gormley, they have Stone, they have Runeblad, they have Yandel. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. But yeah, most of their defense are, like, their best players. That's it. When I looked at the trading thing. Yeah, that's pretty, like, they actually have a lot of players with points. Holy crap. That is ridiculous. Like, they've played 22 games. They have 10 players with a point every two games or better. That's, wow. That's impressive. Okay, so 14-6-1, one, one it there. We'll continue the sim next time. And I might go past the all-star break because at this point, there's nothing we need to do. We, we just need to sim pretty much. All right? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>